there right now. Flash flood warnings as well. That's right. We are hearing the thunder and the lightning above us. Our tower has been hit about a thousand times. I'm keeping track. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, we're rocking and rolling up here on top of the mountain, but we do have a thunderstorm line that has really started to develop and that in turn has produced a lot of rain in the same area. So a flash flood warning in effect now for Jefferson County right through the heart of Jefferson County. It does not include the western half. But here are the look at the uh, temperatures and the sky conditions for the next three hours. Chance of showers and thunderstorms likely. I would bet offhand we'll see rain in the Birmingham area or surrounding areas for at least the next couple of hours. And these showers and thunderstorms actually started earlier across north and west Alabama. And that boundary where those storms died started to refire again in an atmosphere that had more energy to work with. So as we've watched throughout the afternoon, the showers and thunderstorms haven't necessarily been in a real healthy line, just hit and miss, especially east of I-65. But things have really started to ramp up now, especially in Jefferson County. And that's where we have the thunderstorms from Gardendale, Fultondale, back into North Birmingham, Birmingham all the way down to Sanford Avenue, as well as Lakeshore. And uh, that stretches down into uh, places like Shannon, as well as uh, the... Uh, Ross Bridge area. So these are all spots getting a lot of rain and a lot of lightning, a ton of electricity out there. And this right here is why that we issued a weather aware earlier because of the fact there would be so much cloud to ground lightning. And that has been all up and down this storm as it's made its way to gradually floating around towards the west. That's the problem with these storms. They're hard to really track because of the fact some are moving one direction, others are moving another. And even though that boundary moved into Jefferson County, well, it hasn't moved any further. Very heavy rainfall continues across downtown Birmingham. So if you do have travel plans, uh, count on uh, at least some delays. And this is our live view right now as we look down Red Mountain towards the east, a little bit of a break. But these towers have just been getting hammered, including ours, with a lot of cloud to ground lightning. If you look at the overall storms, the heaviest portion of the storm is actually back over towards Ross Bridge. There's a new strike of lightning right there, all the way over to the Birmingham Airport. These are going to be spots that we get a lot of rain in excess of an inch at least, if not a bit more. Now, our dew points will actually begin to gradually go down just a little bit, back into the mid 60s, then 50s and low 60s in most spots as we get into Wednesday. That is thanks to a new batch of air, which will arrive behind a very weak cold front, which, believe it or not, is really the culprit for a lot of our showers and thunderstorms. Throughout the night tonight, though, these storms do start to wrap up and will likely have dry conditions, just humid overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll see a dry start, temperatures in the lower 70s, and then once we get a little later into the day, we'll have some sunshine with a few showers and thunderstorms developing, more so across our southern tier of counties, and our models are trying to back off the rain coverage for tomorrow. I expect that that will start to go back up, though. Here's a look at the storm track seven day weather aware for tomorrow. 50% coverage of rain and then our forecast is dry highs in the low 90s, lows into the 60s, less humid. A few more showers back in here. Second half of the